Okay. Good, good, good. Well, welcome everyone. So excited that you're here with me. Let's see if I can pull up my notes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and hopefully people will catch up with us um, and let's get started. So welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in the home of my online workshop. So I have been trying to be better about going and doing a class with you all every month. I, I, I've done pretty good a few months right in a row. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but I wanted to just take a moment. Um, people, I, I welcome everybody that's joining from all over. I love that. Um, I love that we can reach globally uh, and craft together. This is it's just amazing sometimes. Technology and I have a love-hate relationship. I hate it most of the time, but I love that it can bring us all together because otherwise I wouldn't know most of you, right? So today what we're doing is a, it's an online workshop. So this is so that I can share my love and joy paper crafting with all of you. We're going to relax. We're going to have fun. We're going to get our natural endorphins going with our craftiness. And uh, my favorite thing is that we get to share this joy with everybody just by simply sending a hand stamped card, right? Don't you get excited still when you get a card in the mail? I know I do. Yes. So for those of you that don't, that don't already know me, um, my name is Wendy Lee and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S., and I've been a demonstrator for about, if my math is correct, about 21 years. I went full-time in November of 2019. So that's not a typical thing that you will see with many demonstrators. I think there's less than 1% of us that do it full-time. Um, I am married to a wonderful and very supportive man named Mike. And I have two grown children that I'm super proud of. And I have two super cute grandkids, right? They are amazing. And I get to spend lots of time, especially with Arlie. She's actually here today. So you never know if she might pop in unexpectedly. <laughs> we just bear with it as we go, right? So normally I would do a workshop for somebody. They would be the host, invite their friends. And then I would come in and teach the class with the best products, right? Stamp it up, right? Who doesn't love those? And then the host would keep all the samples I make and they would get the rewards off the orders. So today, since I'm my own host, I am giving those rewards back in the order special, right? So I've already got that posted. Um, some of you have already taken advantage of the order special, which is amazing. That's awesome. Um, there is a link posted to the annual catalog. I cannot share the mini catalog just yet. It doesn't go live until September 4th, but it's a good one. I can show you the outside cover. Yes. So we're going to be using some products out of here, at least one of the papers I think I'm using is from that. Um, yes, but I can't show you the catalog yet inside. Um, so grab your catalog, a sticky note, whatever you need. Um, again, I have already posted the order special and I have something for everyone, right? Because I know we've got people here globally. And so I can't sell Stampin' Up! products outside of the U.S. and I can't send kits outside the U.S. So I do have a special for my global friends as well, um, ordering out of my tutorial store. So all those details are already in the group. If you have any questions, please, 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 please let me know. So let me go ahead and switch the camera over and let's get started with what we're here to do, which is craft, right? Yay! All right, switching that over. Oh, it's six hours early, Erie. Erie, is that how you say your name? Hopefully I got that right. Let me refresh or see if I can refresh my uh, news feed here on my iPad. Sometimes it does not let me, and sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> how about that? Uh, let's see if we can find it again. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, Wendy, search. There we go. That should have refreshed me. Perfect. All right, I don't know if I am going to be able to see comments. Hmm, what if I click on that? No, that does not give me what I want. So I gotta tell you, those of you that use an iPad, you're a talented bunch of people. 
Like I, I'm fairly savvy. I've got my Mac, I've got my iPhone and fairly easy to use, but for whatever reason, this, uh, this, uh, lovely iPad has been a mystery to me. So we'll do the best we can. Oh, let's turn on some lights. That'll help. Get some light in here. Okay, so we are featuring today the sophisticated sled. Oh, good, Gail, you found me. Yay! Oh, yeah, you can get lost. I can get lost as well, Pat. Definitely. All right, sophisticated sled is the stamp set that we are featuring. And, of course, the coordinating dies. Love these. Love these. I, for whatever reason, this stamp set just makes me happy, right? It's a little different than some that we've had in the past. Um, and I love that it's kind of wintry feel. Um, you could use it for the holidays as well. So it's super versatile. And so I have actually paired this with, let me uh, grab my cheat notes, right? I got cheat notes, got to have those. I paired it with dun, 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 Regal Winter Designer Series paper. So that is one of our brand new papers that's coming in the mini catalog. So let me show you the projects, right? That's what we want to see. So we are going to make these four fantabulous, fantabulous cards. And I hope that you love all of them, right? I'm super excited about it. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy these as well. So part of the order, oh, there goes my camera. All right. So let me go ahead and explain what's happening here. So for whatever reason, Zoom did did an update or I I phone did an update, I don't know which one did it, but it doesn't mash up very well. And so, yeah, see, randomly it's zooming in. I hope it doesn't keep doing that, but we'll, we'll work with it. And hopefully it doesn't make everyone nauseous as we go, right? Um, but, so there is a bug or something with this and it will all of a sudden just crazy move. Like sometimes it goes way over to the side. Let's see if I can get to come to the center again. There we go, zooming back out. Yay. Okay, perfect. So now I've got my full workspace. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> right? Hopefully it's not going to do crazy, crazy things that we can't deal with. Right? All right. So let's start with our first project. Do I have these? I have this upside down, don't I? Oh, Wendy. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I wanted to start off a little easier first. So we're gonna do the first one we're gonna do. Where did I do it? Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Don't you hate it when you think you have things figured out and then you actually don't have it as figured out as you thought you did? All right, we're gonna do this one first, this lovely, lovely project right here. So we're gonna start off simple, easy. So what I did was I took my Knight of Navy layer and let's see, look at my cheat to see it is five and a quarter by four inches of Knight of Navy, right? And then I've got, I've die cut an element right out of the center with the sophisticated sled dies. Let me grab those and, and show you what I'm talking about here. So it is this element here, this little bow element here. So I've die cut that out of the center of my layer. So that just saves me a little bit of paper, right? Like I could have cut it out of another piece of paper, but that'll save me a little bit of uh, paper using that. And uh, I'm going to cover that up. So it's it's super cool that we can do that, right? So I've got a couple little strips of paper. So you could take this and put a full piece of designer series paper onto this navy. But why? Because we're going to put this over the top of it. So I'm using cheater strips. So these are one inch wide and they are um, five and an eighth. Yes. And then the middle piece, this piece is two and a half inches. I should have printed off my directions, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and start by putting these down. So isn't this paper really pretty? You've got some really fun kind of wintry flower feel to it. So I'm putting this down. I am a stamp and seal girl. So if you don't already know that about me, you do now. And I, that's just my preference, right? You can use liquid glue. We'll use some liquid glue, but I get sticky when I use liquid glue. So I prefer to use stamp and seal when at all possible. All right. So that layer is down. 
And then we're going to put this one over the top in that pretty too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to slide that over. Hopefully my camera stays with me here. Have I already run out of adhesive? I have a backup ready because I knew I was getting low. And we're just going to lay this right down. So a great way to save on some of your fabulous papers and use some of those little scraps, right? All right, so now I've got some of the Night of Navy and Gold Glitter Ribbon. Love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to cheat by just wrapping it and adhering the ends to the back. You guys have done this, right? A million times, probably. So I'm just going to put that right down into that adhesive. And I've got my fabulous layer ready to go. Now I've got a very vanilla card base. And so this is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna fold this in half, right? Give that a good crease with my bone folder. So these projects are actually ones that we did in my diamonds team meeting this month. So I offer a make and take packet each month for my team if they want to opt into it. And these are the projects that we created this month. I love it. Now you won't find the sophisticated sled stamp set and dies in any of our annual catalogs, right? It's going to be an online exclusive. So you'll find it in the online store only. All right, so we've got this down. Let's do this label next. So I'm pulling in, what did I do with them? Strategically placing things. All right, I'm pulling in the iconic imagery dies, and I've die cut this large label here. So this is another one that you're going to find in our online exclusives. And I love these dies. It has some really nice labels in it, and we're going to use it on a couple of cards. But I've die cut this large label here, and we're going to stamp our sentiment on that. All right, so I've got Knight of Navy ink. Hopefully I'm in camera here. And I'm going to stamp. I hope your days are filled with fun and laughter. All occasions, right? Love it, love it. So fun. Now, I have to pop this up, right? I'm going to put that on with some dimensionals. So let's go ahead and just pop that right on the card front with dimensionals. So if I miss answering, if you guys have questions as we go along and I miss answering your questions, please let me know. And um, I will try to go back and answer. All right, so we're gonna put this, how about right there? That looks nice. And again, you can pop it up or you don't have to. I like it popped up, so that's what I did, okay? Now I've got a second piece of the ribbon. So this is probably about 12 inches and I'm gonna slide this right through and I am gonna tie a bow, okay? Actually, I'm gonna flip it over. Now, I have to tie my bows upside down because they always end up upside down. So, nope, this is gonna be backwards. I wanna go this way. I want my tails that way. And so I have to tie it upside down. I don't know if everybody else has that same problem or just me. Now this ribbon is a bit sticky because of the glitter. So it is sometimes a little more difficult to tie. So if you're not happy, hold the knot, grab the legs. Oh, Knight of Navy, <laughs> yeah, captions. <laughs> At least we have captions, right? Cause then you can watch on mute if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> depending on where you're at, right? You might need to. All right, so let's shake off that excess glitter. So this is one thing, our glitter ribbon, the glitter will come off on. Our glimmer paper, it does not, but the ribbon, it does. But I still think it's beautiful and fabulous, so I like it. All right, so let's add our little touch of our elements here at the top. So I've got my bird, and where did my navy sprig go? Did I drop it? Am I going to have to die cut it? Poo. I might have to pull that out. Let's see if I've got it buried in these layers. I had it earlier. I might be stealing it from another card, but I'm stealing it either way. So there's my die cut. So now we need to stamp and color our bird. 
So for this, I'm gonna bring in my Memento Black ink, okay? And my stamp is just on a little scrap of vanilla. You could stamp it on white as well, it doesn't really matter. I think the original I actually did in white. And then I'm just gonna add a touch of color with some stamp and blend. So I use the bowl tip of my blends. I rarely use the brush tip for coloring. I use the brush tip for other things and it does some crazy things to your tip. When you color embellishments and ribbons and all those fun things, there's a little bit of dark cherry cobbler. And then let's finish our coloring with some light cherry cobbler. You can't do a ton with this little image. It's so little, right? So it's kind of hard to get amazing shading. We did get a little, right? Cute. Oh yeah, Nan, I agree that that's great for um, people that are deaf, those closed captions. I like it for sure. All right, so we've got a coordinating die that will match this that we can use. If I can find them in here. I should put this on a magnet card. I just haven't done that yet. There it is. It's a little bitty guy right here. So we're gonna die cut that out. And by the magic of camera, it's done. Yay. All right, so now we can put this together. So we're almost done, can you believe it? Easy peasy, first card. All right, so I'm gonna cut this into two pieces and I'll put a little bit of liquid glue on the back. Just some dots. Now you guys know our glue dries tacky, the Tombow adhesive. So it's still sticky even when it dries. So you could have die cut this or I could have die cut this out with adhesive sheets on the back so that I could just peel and stick, right? But I didn't do that. But I have a love-hate relationship with liquid glue because I don't like to get sticky. I don't like the ooze. I make a mess with it. My project's sticky, I'm sticky. But my friend Melissa Kerman taught us that if you put your adhesive on it and let it dry a bit, it will work fabulously, right? So I'm letting it dry for just a moment. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this bird. Big one fit right in there. And if you let this dry a little bit, it's still going to be sticky, right? So I can lay this right here. I'm going to come down just a smidge. Oh, Pam, first live. Yay. Welcome, welcome. And then I'm going to stick this other one kind of underneath the label. You guys can see that, right? So one's tucked under and one's on top. Cute. All right, and then we're gonna finish it off with our cute little birdie. And of course my liquid glue's not dry. <laughs> so it's gonna keep moving on me. Ah, so fun, right? All right, we need embellishments. What did I do with them? So today's projects are gonna use this, uh, these lovely, um, let's see, what's the official name? Opal Round Assortment, and I looked, these are back in stock. They've been out of stock often. They've been so, so popular, but these are back in stock. So you can order these now if you want some, need some, right? Take advantage of the order special and get you some. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle on a few gems, right? So I'm just gonna put these little navy ones on because they look good with it. Lovely, 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 lovely. Great way to finish the card off. Now, I did not do anything on the inside of this particular card. I do typically do my insides, but I wanted to keep these really, really simple. So I did not do insides. So this one is plain on the inside, but you could easily add a strip of designer series paper, maybe uh, stamp another little birdie in there, add your sentiment. I'm leaving this fairly generic so I can use it for something at a later time. All right, ready for card two? I hope you guys like that one. Did you like that one? Let me know. Card two is this one, and it is a little bit of a fun fold. So we can see that designer paper on the inside. And you're like, Wendy, how does Wild Wheat and Petal Pink and Blackberry Bliss go together? Well, it does, right? Don't you think it's pretty? I think it's pretty, right? All right, let's get started with that one. I have made a big mess already. I have a pile of stuff everywhere. Okay, 
So let me see if I can move these dies over. I almost need a, a whole nother table, right? <laughs> Thank goodness you can't see the mess I've got off screen. All right. So my card base is a five and a half by five and a half piece of wild wheat. And I've scored this at four and a quarter. Okay. So we're just going to fold that and give that a nice good crease. All right. Card front. And then I have a four by five and a quarter piece of the designer series paper. Pretty. So since this is directional, or it looks kind of directional in my piece here, maybe it's not, but I kind of like it with that facing up. So I'm paying attention to that so that when I adhere this down, that when I open it, it looks, it looks pretty, right? Okay, so here's how I'm going to adhere it to this front flap. I'm going to put adhesive along this edge here, right? And then I'm going to use my layer as a guide. And I want to put adhesive along this edge of this tab here. This way I'm nice and secure. I didn't get my adhesive over too far and make a sticky mess and mess up my entire project, right? Which has happened to me for sure. Oh, I'm not centered at all. Let's see if I can, well, nope, it's down. It's crooked and it's down. Let's see, can we fix it? I'm slowly, slowly pulling it up. I got it. It wasn't down too long. I could get my heat tool out and uh, loosen that adhesive with my heat tool on low as well. All right. Try it again. Better. Not perfect, but better. Let me give that one more crease. Lovely, right? All right. So now we've got a layer of wild wheat and let's do some stamping on it. So this layer measures three inches by four and one quarter. And I'm gonna stamp wild wheat on wild wheat. Oh, good, Carolyn, I'm so glad you like the heat tool tip. Yeah, it works really well when you just need that little extra oomph, right? So I'm just randomly stamping some of these snowflakes, right? Do you guys have the glass mat yet? I love this glass mat. I rarely use my foam, um, my pierce mat. I rarely use it when I'm stamping with photopolymer stamps now because it, I've got the little bit of give, right? Dean helped me figure that out. So I just wipe that off. Okay, set that aside. All right, so then this is going to adhere right to the card front. So I'm gonna do this flat. We're gonna do plenty of popping up. So it's okay if this one is flat. Yes, Pam, there is going to be a PDF for the uh, cards, but that is the order special. So you get the PDF for free if you place a minimum of a $35 order using the uh, online workshop host code. So then you will get the PDF for free. If your order hits $50 or greater, then you'll also get the cut packet sent to you. Now, if you're not in the US, um, if you place a $35 minimum order in my tutorial store, then you will also get the PDF. Okay, perfect. And if your order is 50 or greater, then you um, also get the all-star tutorial bundle, which this month is the Mediterranean Blooms and it's gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, next. Let's bring in our pecan pie. And we're gonna stamp this in early espresso. Kind of move that out of my way. Ink this up real good. Now, if this is too big for you to hold on to with your hand, you can always take ink pad to stamp, right? If that's hard for you to hold on to. I mean, there's times I've dropped it because it's just too big. Let's get that a good push down. Lovely. Which one is it? It's in the middle drawer, baby. The middle one. Far right. Oh, it's a plastic container with a lid on it. Sorry, Arlie needed some help. She's looking for lunch. Looking for a snack. 
She's looking for her baloney. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in the sled outline die. We're gonna die cut this. So we've got this right here, which is lovely, I think. And we're just gonna put this right on the front. I'm gonna pop this up. Again, you do not have to pop it up. Oh, good, Kathleen, you love the stamp set. I love it as well. I should tell you, no, I shouldn't tell you yet. Maybe I will. We're looking at this for our October uh, Cultivated Creativity Kit too. So those of you that don't know what Cultivated Creativity is, I do a monthly subscription um, program called Cultivated Creativity. It's your DIY paper crafting kit sent directly to you. It is only available in the US because I, can, I can't sell products outside the US. Um, and so you get this fabulous curated kit and we feature a bundle each and every month. And um, you make five projects, four cards and one not a card. And you get lots of goodies. I do a free gift every six months consecutively that somebody subscribes with me. You can cancel at any time, so it's risk-free. All right, let's stamp some skates in Blackberry Bliss. Lovely. And we will die cut those with the coordinating skate die. So we've got that in here, nice. I've also used the dies to die cut some of these skates. Uh, another bow, right? And the laces. Now I put adhesive sheet on the back of these. I happen, I happen to have cardstock that had adhesive sheet on it. So I die cut the laces and that's in Blackberry Bliss. And then I cut the blades in silver foil. And I like that these dies will cut the blades and the laces like it's all one die. Like it's one die to get two blades, one die to get two laces. So it's, it's, it's really, really nice. And then I'm pulling in my iconic imagery dies again and I've got these little sprigs and this label here okay so you can see those in here little sprigs and then there's this little label cute so we're ready to start building those elements together now I've already put adhesive liquid glue on the back of these so they are sticky but you can see it's shiny but the glue is actually dry but still tacky so I'm going to go ahead and put this right on there cute just a little time saver to do this ahead of time. Put our little sprig there. Put another one here. Okay, and then let's build our skates and put those on. Now, I went ahead and did this, and you can see this on here. I left the stamp skate underneath. It doesn't line up perfectly, but I don't think it looks bad. And I kind of like the extra color peeking through. You could cut these off. You could cut this off um, and not have that underneath, but I, I, it doesn't bother me at all, right? Okay, so the first time I put the skates together, I totally put the laces right on top, right? I did not realize that there's a slit here. Well, I realized there was a slit, but I didn't realize what the slit was for. And it's to slide that in. So when you go to put this down, now I put adhesive sheet on the back of this, but when you go to put this down, let's remove that backing paper there. Um, this is Blackberry Bliss. I use Petal Pink and Wild Wheat. Good question. Let's see if I can get that one little, all right, let's see, we'll poke that through. There we go. Oh, my camera's gonna just change where it's gonna look. Let's see if we can get it to come back. Come on, come on. There we go. Why it went to my belly, I do not know. All right, so I'm gonna slide this right in here. And that is gonna give me a place to adhere to the skate, right? Let's see if I can get that up just a smidge more. So that little ledge actually is where you'd adhere if you didn't use adhesive sheet. So nice, right? Super adorable. And then let's put a blade on this one. Again, I put adhesive on the back of this, liquid glue on the back of these already. 
So they're tacky. All right, there's one skate built. Let's build our second skate. Yes, happy to answer the questions. So that's, I want to answer anything you guys have questions on. I'm happy to try to answer anyway. I might, sometimes I forget to say things. I try not to, but. Oh, and the sled I stamped on pecan pie with uh, early espresso ink, if I didn't say that. All right, I'm sticking to my fingers. There we go, I'm getting it. I just think these are adorable. I, I think the skate is my one of my favorite elements in here, these ice skates. I am not good at ice skating, but I can pretend, right? Adorable, adorable, adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and put one skate down and I'm gonna use liquid glue and I'm gonna do it flat. And I think that's fine. So we're gonna put this right here. And again, you can see that stamped image through a little bit. It's not exactly the same. And then I wanna use dimensionals on my other skate. Mm, I might need minis. Let's see. Let's let's pull in some mini dimensionals if we've got them. I think I do. Let's pull in some minis just in case. I probably could have put a couple big ones on there, but this makes me feel a little bit better. I probably did not put minis in the supply list. But you guys have the complete supply list. Um in the group already, I posted that. Uh, I wanna say yesterday that posted. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again, come on, come on. Isn't it crazy how it does that? I love this, super cute. So let's go ahead and adhere this down with some liquid glue. So stinking cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's stamp our sentiments. And I'm gonna do this in Blackberry Bliss as well. Let it snow. Right on this little iconic imagery label. I'm finding I really like, oh, I put a little pressure on there. So on little sentiment, don't push down so hard. It kind of, it kind of blurred it a little bit. I'm going with it. We're just going to make it work. All right, dimensionals. We're going to put a couple on the end. And then I like my ends to hang off. So I'm going to let that hang over the edge a little bit. And we're just going to slide this right here. Oh, it wants you to see that up close, doesn't it? <laughs> Too crazy. All right, let's pull in our opal rounds and sprinkle on a few of these. And I'm going to use this yellowy one. And I think it looks really good with the wild wheat color. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's take uh, and put a layer on the inside, right? So I'm bringing that petal pink to the inside because I think it's nice, right? It gives you a, a good way to tie that coloring together. You could stamp on this. You could stamp the skates on here. You could stamp the sled on here. You could stamp some snowflakes. Um, you could add another sentiment. Entirely up to you on what you want to do with this. But I'm leaving mine blank for today. And I'm going to get that down in the center. And let me give you a measurement for that layer. That layer is... three and three quarters by five. I knew it was smaller than the outer. And that's because I wanted to make sure that this covered it. Now you could, if this layer was a little bit bigger, you could put this down first and then that would help you no placement here to make sure it's covered because you don't want to see it from the front unless you do want to see it from the front, right? Like you could change your measurements a little bit and have that layer peeking through. But anyway, card two, I hope you guys love this one as well. Let me know, right? I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Two more to go. We got two more. We're halfway done already. Can you believe it? All right, 
third card here. So this one's pretty simple. Um, not as much building with the dies this time. And again, I've left the inside blank here. So let's start with, I think I have this backwards. I do, I have all my parts backwards. I don't know why. All right, we're gonna start with our Blackberry Bliss card base. So five and a half by eight and a half, cut in half. I did not do the, um, the metric for my global friends. So hopefully you guys know how to do that, but I did not do that on this. And I've got a piece of the paper. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so this is four by five and a quarter. So this paper is actually going to be one of the papers that is included in my paper and ribbon share. So I have that going on um, now, registration going on now. It closes on the third. Oh, you don't like petal pink? I, you know, I don't go to petal pink very often as well, but for that color combination, it actually works nicely. Um, so I, I do like it there. All right. Are you guys loving these giant embossing folders? I love them. Absolutely love them. So this is one of the new ones coming our way. It's called Forever Plaid 3D Embossing Folder. And it gives you fantastic, fantastic height. And you can use either side, right? So I'm going to use that side. And I'm going to put that on a Blackberry Bliss layer. Oh, I need to tell you measurements, don't I? So the basic beige is two and three quarters by four. And then the Blackberry Bliss is two and a half. I'm going to say that wrong. Ah, three by four and a quarter. I don't know where my head is. So basic beige, Blackberry Bliss. We're going to adhere those two together. And then we'll pop those up on the front of the card base. Again, if you don't want to pop yours up, don't pop yours up. Okay. A few dimensionals here. Okay. Well, I'll get it. I will get it. There we go. All right. We'll center this more or less on that card front there. I love that. Have you guys been playing with basic beige much? Um, I like it. It's um, a little bit different, um, but kind of fun, right? Okay, here we go. All right, now I've got some die cut elements that I use the sled dies for. I know, I, I didn't think I needed that folder either, but I went ahead and got it. And I am so glad I did. Um, the birch one's fabulous as well. And you're going to see that today. Yeah. I like the, um, you're not crazy how curved. Gene, I missed that. I'll have to go back and look at your comment. It, they're not staying up on my screen. They're popping up and disappearing, which anyway. All right. So cut with the sled dies. And then this is cut out of the sled dies as well. I love it because it gives you nice great texture looks like i didn't get all my bits out of the center so we'll poke those out you could use your dye brush tool on your take your pick as well that works great to get the little bits out um i don't have that near me it's on the other side of the room my granddaughter is talking my helper's ear off <laughs> i've got a helper here today helping me make some cards and uh yeah, my granddaughter's just chatting, just chatting with her. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the, I'm going to, I call this the sled blades, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive there. That's a lot of adhesive, actually. So I'm going to end up with a sticky mass. And then I'm going to place this on there. And you can kind of use these holes on the end to line that up. So it looks like it was riveted on, right? Kind of. I think we can get away with that. So then on this, I'm actually going to put it on here and I'll put a little bit of liquid glue here. Oh, that's a lot. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see, that's going to go across here. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. 
a little bit there. And I'm going to stop at that. Hopefully I don't make an oozy mess. But I might. All right. So I'm going to use that, those little dots to help me line that up. Center more or less on here. This adorable, adorable sled. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. So now I just need some liquid glue to adhere this to my card base. And I like it hanging off at a cricket angle. I think that's fun. It's festive. Nice. You guys like that? All right. So I've got a second pair of skates. I'm not going to stamp this again since you saw me do this earlier. So stamped and die cut out of Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to put this down right on to this card base. Now I'm going to use dimensionals. You don't have to, but I'm going to use dimensionals. I've had a few people ask me recently why I'm coloring the back of my dimensionals with, um, I use a highlighter to kind of run it over the sheet. Let's grab the minis. You can see them a little. Oh, no, that's a big one too. I got a mini. There, that one's fuller. Um, I'm using dimensionals or a highlighter to color the backing of the dimensionals um, because then I can see that I've taken the paper off. I know it's shiny, right? Like I can see it's shiny right now and I try to stay in good light, but sometimes I just can't tell. And I was finding that I was spending a lot of time touching it to see. And when you're making stacks and stacks and stacks of cards, sometimes you just don't have time to mess with that. So I started doing the highlighting and it has helped tremendously. All right, our label for our sentiment, we are using the Wonderful Thoughts dies. So I've got this one right here that I have die cut that shape. So let's bring in Oh, we want pecan pie this time. What am I thinking? I started to bring Blackberry Bliss in again, but let's bring in pecan pie. Oh, we're zooming in and out again. Wow. Hopefully it's not making you guys uh, crazy. All right, stamp this. Let's decorate this season with happiness. I'm going to kind of shift it over to the left because I am going to tuck this label underneath that sled a little bit. Um, sorry, checking my measurements, making sure I'm not missing something that I should have done. Okay, so I'm going to glue this flat as well. So I'm going to slide it up under my uh, skates there, and I'm going to put this at an angle so it's Put on some stamp and seal. You could use liquid glue if you prefer, but you know, I am not a preference of that. I like my layers crossing, so I'm going to have it hang out off this edge a little bit. I think that's a little fun. Cute, 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 cute. And let's finish this one off with a few opal rounds. So we've got the uh, clear ones. So let's put these on here. Cute, 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 cute. And then for the inside, just to change it up a little bit, I'm gonna put a layer of the basic beige on the inside. So just changing that up a little bit as well. Um, oh, I didn't tell you, this was vanilla for the label. We could have used vanilla. I felt like vanilla worked better with these colors of this designer series paper. You could use white, but I felt like it was a little stark. And um, I just felt like it was a little more pleasing mixing the vanilla and the basic beige. Love it. And this one's simple, right? We built the sled, but we left our skates really simple. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. One more, just one more to go. Now this one is a fun fold. If your stamp is fuzzy or smeared, flip it over and stamp it on the other side. Exactly. 100%. You can definitely do that. Now, die cuts, sometimes I don't because um, sometimes the backside doesn't look so good. I've, I've used the same base plate on my die cutting machine for quite some time and it will 
sometimes transfer uh, that texture to the back of the cardstock. So, all right, here we go. So this is a gatefold. Cute. So here we're bringing basic beige in. We've got a Lost Lagoon card base, putting in some peacock with some beige. And we've pulled in that wild weed again. Now, wild weed is not one of my favorite colors. It actually it looks still looks like diarrhea to me. Sorry to say that. But in this color combination, it works well, I think. So that's my two cents. So here we go. <laughs> All right. We are going to grab our Lost Lagoon five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored in at two and one eighth inch on both ends. Okay, that a good crease with our bone folder so that it meets in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my beige layer in. So it's uh, four by five and a quarter. Kept that simple. Oh, ran out of adhesive, there we go. Good thing I got another one on the side. All right, hopefully that one doesn't run out as well. It might, but hopefully not. All right, placing this more or less centered. Again, if you wanted to stamp and bring the design to the inside, add some designer paper, please feel free to do that. Do, do, do. All right, now I've got two pieces of the designer paper, so I'm choosing the plaids again. That's pretty. I actually think that's very pretty, even though it's wild wheat. It's a very pretty floral, but I'm using the plaids, all going for plaid today. So these are one and seven eighths by, I want to say five and three eighths, but let me check. Five and a quarter, sorry. One and seven eighths by five and a quarter are these designer series paper strips. And we are going to put these down on each of these panels. We'll stamp and seal. Okay, put this one down as well. My camera's not doing too bad, is it? Is it making anybody nauseous? I hope not. All right, lovely. So I've got this going on. Next, I've got a layer of basic beige and it is two and a half by four and a half. And we're going to layer it on two and three quarters by four and three quarters pretty peacock. So this is the Birchwood 3D embossing folder. So this is another one of the new ones in the mini catalog. Fantastic. And on my original, I actually embossed the birch going up and down, if you can tell that. But on this one, I did it sideways. I don't think it matters. I think it's cute either way. It's a great embossing folder. Gives you lots of good texture. So we're going to adhere this down to, oh, it ripped it. I don't typically have that with Stamp and Seal. I will sometimes have that with Steel Plus. Okay, but it, it won't come off my fingers. That's a little crazy. So embossing folders do break the fibers of your cardstock. So that could be why this is lifting. Up that paper just a bit. Perfect, all right. Now I wanna pop this on with dimensionals. I totally put that layer on crooked. It's so crooked. <laughs> Do we fix it? Do we try to fix it? I probably can peel this one off pretty easily. Let's see. Yeah, it's not sat there long enough yet. We'll see if we can make an effort to fix it. It's so hard on camera to see what you're doing. For me anyway, maybe some of you do better. Good, the camera is fine. Good, I'm glad. All right, so it looks like I have a little piece of residue of cardstock here. We're just gonna scrape that off and pretend that never happened, right? Yay, no one will ever know but us. Don't tell. Okay, now I can put this on the card front. So I like to, I'm gonna pop this one up. I like to put my dimensionals, just like we did on that other layer. I'm gonna put it on the edge of this one, right? 
Oh, you couldn't tell it was crooked. Yay. It may still look crooked. I don't know. All right. And then I'm going to use this as a guide, right? On my placement, because I don't want my dimensionals too close to the outer edge. But I do want this a nice secure layer and I don't want to have to guess where my adhesive needs to go. So I'm only going to put two on those. I've got three on the outer edge. It'll be nice and sturdy. It's not going to fall off. All right. And then now I can place this centered ish. I say ish because I never get it perfect, right? So now I didn't have any adhesive in the wrong place and it's beautiful. Yay. All right. Let's stamp our sled on a piece of crumb cake. And I am bringing in early espresso yet again. And we'll stamp this fabulous sled. Yeah, Arlie is in there talking up a storm. I do not know what she's saying, but she's talking up a storm. All right, so we'll die cut this out just like we did the other one. So we've got our sled. And let's go ahead and pop this up on the layer here. I keep putting my dimensionals away and I don't know why. I should just leave them out. It's a good habit though to put them away, right? I don't do that when I'm crafting, when I'm designing. Um, so things get buried and I can never find them. And then when I go to clean up, I have four pairs of scissors and, you know, three sheets of dimensionals out. It's a mess. All right. Cute. That's cute right there. You could just add a sentiment and be done. But no, nope, we got to add a little bit more. So I've die cut the wreath image from Lost Lagoon. And two of the bows in Pretty Peacock. And we are just going to glue these to make our wreath, right? So let's put a little bit, I should have put some adhesive on these earlier and let them sit. Again, you could have put um, adhesive sheets on here and let it, you know, peel and stick, makes that super easy, right? some dots of glue randomly putting some on I don't care if it's all the way secured down while that sits for just a moment let's move those up so I don't put them in my arm let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment we've got good tidings and that's on this label was die cut out of very vanilla with the iconic imagery dies again so that is this label here we're going to bring in pretty peacock ink Ooh. and let's see if we can do this without pushing down so hard this time you really don't need to push down hard with these um smaller sentiments but we tend to right or at least i do maybe you guys are better at it than i am all right we're gonna hope that this has a little bit of drain time done and it's not gonna ooze and make me too sticky so we are gonna put our greenery on one end and then the other one on the other end and it's okay if they overlap that's fine that gives us a fun little wreath cute right now I am going to pop this up with dimensionals I can't resist it right I just can't gonna do it and then we'll put some and I'm going to try to come in and do it close to the inner cut out just in case it hangs off the edge of my sled. I don't think it does, but just in case. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. Cute, right? Yes, the wreath, I apologize, I didn't show that. The wreath is with this the sophisticated sled. So let me grab those dies out. Apologies for not showing you that. Yeah, so there was that sled that we used on the other one. So yeah, you've got this wreath here. That's where I got that. And there is a stamp that aligns to that as well. I just didn't use it. And then these are the bows that we've used before as well. Sorry about that. I should have shown you. 
assuming you all have seen these already, right? So there is a gorgeous wreath. So we could have stamped this underneath and I think that would have added even more to that, but I wanted to try to keep it simple, right? Um, so yes, Jennifer, you're right. In the US, you may have to pay more shipping, but as long as your card is within a quarter of an inch tall, which I have not had any issues with, even though I like to pop things up. And as long as um, I stay within an ounce, I do not have to pay extra shipping. Now, I do have stamps for an additional ounce. My husband actually works at the post office, so he keeps me straight on this, but I have a scale and anytime I mail, um, sometimes I have forget-me-not cards. So forget-me-not is my avid card club. And we do some crazy things with that. And so sometimes those cards have lots and lots of layers. And even those typically are mailable without putting the extra ounce stamp on there. So don't feel like you have to put two stamps on your cards. Um, there is a lower priced uh, extra ounce stamp that you can do uh, to add on to that if, if it does need it. But uh, I rarely have to do that unless I'm sending a gift in with the card. All right, so I've got this jute twine and this is, uh, this is the in color jute twine. And it, um, I like to ravel it, right? Like I've already pulled a strand off here, but I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna unravel this. It's about 10 to 12 inches. Um, and I, I just, I think it's really chunky. So I like to take the strands apart. There's three in them. I'd already pulled one off of here and I'm just gonna put them on top of each other. Yeah, you keep a postage scale, yeah. Yeah, I use the same scale I use to ship my packages. Um, I got it off Amazon. It's in my favorite things uh, list on my website if anybody needs a scale. It was inexpensive and I've had it for years. I love it. All right, so I've tied my bow and I love the crazy, the, the thing I like about the jute is I like that wavy, crazy, kind of reminds me of my hair, right? All over the place. Um, so I've got that going on. I'm gonna trim off those ends, kind of even that up. Give it a little haircut there. And I just think it adds a really nice touch. Now, this time the both legs went up. I can move that around if I want to. Um, if it bothers you, you can do that, yeah? All right, let's get a glue dot or AKA bugger. And we will adhere that down. I'm gonna grab more than one. Okay. Put that down on the wreath, whoops. Keeps pulling my tip out of my, take your pick. And I'm just gonna push that down into that glue dot and get that nice and secure. Fun, 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 love it. Oh, we're zooming in and out again. All right, I love it. All right, let's grab some of these lovely gems here. Now on my original, I did them all in the wild, or not the wild, it's not wild week, but it's the yellow one. I put all yellowy ones on there. We could mix and match and do different colors if we want to do that. We can do different sizes. It's entirely up to you on how you wanna go about it. Let's see what it looks like if we change it up and do, um, let's do a big one and let's do a little one. Let's do a big one. Let's do another little one. And let's go big one here. There we go. I don't think I need more than five, although you could. But I think it looks cute too. You guys have to tell me which way do you like it better? Do you like it better with one color or with multicolor? It's a little more, I don't know, festive maybe. I don't know, I like both. But super cute, right? You guys like this one too? Do you have a favorite? I'm gonna bring them all back in. All right, I wish the camera would stop zooming. Okay, come on, come on out. You like one color best, okay. Cheryl likes one color best. Come on, come on camera, come back out. Come on. Good, I'm glad you joined me live as well, Becky. Well, hopefully this will zoom back out. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so we've got that one. 
this one, this one, and this one. Beautiful, right? Oh, now it's going to go over to the side. All right, well, yay, Mac, back in the middle. Yeah, so I think the cards are fabulous as well. I It's a fun, uh, it was an unusual pairing, putting it with that designer series paper, I think. But I, I think it really um, lends itself versatilely uh, to go different places. So let me switch this camera back over and chat with you for just a moment. If I can, uh, let me get these lights off. I don't want to blind anybody because I'll have a glowing head. <laughs> ah, too funny. All right, perfect. We're back. Yay. I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, we'll give these a try. So don't forget, um, if you uh, want to take advantage of the special I've got today, let me make sure I say it properly. Our host code is JV7WXK3S. It is posted in the group. Don't go by my saying it. And I've left the ordering special open this time a little bit longer. Normally I would close it on Monday, but I'm leaving it open through Wednesday in case some of you want to um, place multiple orders so that you can get some goodies now. And then uh, the new mini catalog goes live on Wednesday. Um, I think Wednesday will be a crazy ordering day and things might sell out. Um, it could be frustrating with everybody trying to get on at the same time. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Sometimes it runs very smoothly and sometimes it's a little bit of a cluster, but just be patient and you'll, you'll get all that out. So, um, again, if your order goes over $50, you're going to get the, uh, cut kits with the, um, projects. So you can make all of these goodies and you'll also get the August Mediterranean blooms, all-star video class tutorial bundle. Um, those are fabulous projects. And let's see. And for my global, my global friends, I don't want to forget you. You also um, have the opportunity to get the PDF tutorial with a $35 purchase in my online tutorial store. And if your order goes over 50, you're also going to get that all-star video class tutorial. So yes. Yeah, you like the embossing going side to side better than the up and down Sharon. Okay, yeah. I it's great because you can change it up and I the thing about these big, these big embossing folders is that it, I think it gives us a little more flexibility in what we can do, right? With our orientation and all of that. Oh, Cheryl, the replay will stay up until I do my next online workshop. So I do kill them. Um, I, I reuse this group. So I will clean out all the posts and, and upload new content when I um, switch it over to the next one. So probably a month-ish, but it, I'll also upload it to YouTube and I don't take it off YouTube. So you can watch it anytime you want to. Yep. Invite your friends, have them come over. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon and I hope you love this. All right. Thank you and bye for now.